Tomo Fujita says, be kind to yourself. And that's one of the things I have to remind myself constantly. You make so much improvement when you're not stressing. I already talked about mindset. Just be kind to yourself and everything else will fall into place. Hey, what up? In honor of sitting 500, here's a free practice lesson on all the stuff I practice and what you can practice to improve. Wait. I want to do minimal editing. I just, oh, let me get this mic a little, let me get a little closer to the mic so it can actually be picked up. I should be audible. Uh, all this mic noise. Okay. Okay. So I just have some notes here. We're going to reference those a little bit and just, there's like literally one word so I can hit on them and just keep on moving. I want this video to be kind of short. All right. I have mindset circle because that's very important. If you don't want to practice, just don't practice. Go do anything else. I didn't want to practice this week. So I played video games and this has been one of my best week for YouTube content in general and like my own playing. And I just like, I was like putting all this pressure on practicing. I said, yeah, I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna play video games all weekend. I've been having a great week. I've been wanting to practice more just cause I've been in a good mood. And yeah, if you don't want to practice, just don't practice, dude. You'll get better by practicing. That's how I got good at the beginning. I practiced six hours a day, but that was because I wanted to practice. There's nothing I want to do more than guitar. Everything else in life sucked. You know, I'm just gonna go straight down. I have visualization on here because when you're practicing, it's cool if you got something down. But I always think, I always pretend that I'm practicing it in front of like an audience or I pretend I'm about to record. Hey, no dog. We'll see if he needs to be put in the cage or not. Cause he, he loves messing up videos. So I, I, I practice visualize myself in front of an audience that way i can feel what the nerves feel like and that's also how you program your mind saying when this happens i'll do this so i might think yo what will happen if i do this what happens if i've missed that so that when that moment actually comes my my subconscious is already prepared to handle it and that's why i do it a lot in my playing i i take care of the problems before they happen and that's why visualization is important it also keeps you calm in the moment because you're like I already did all I can do. Practice is just programming your subconscious mind. So you're just telling, teaching your fingers and body what to do. Most of the time, if I'm really struggling on something, I just need to put the guitar down, come back tomorrow, and then like I bang it out first thing in the morning. So let's see, let's get a metronome set. I'll, I'll do some playing before I just do all talk. So let's program some subconscious right now. Huh. My biggest problem throughout school when I was playing clarinet is taking things slowly. When you take things slowly, you get them accurately. It was actually aim trainers on video games. Whoop. It was actually aim trainers on video games that made me really start taking things slowly. Cause I noticed if I practice precision and just made sure to try to get headshots, even if I was aiming really slowly, yeah, I'm actually talking and syncing up. Even if I'm trying to get things really slowly, I'll end up, uh, once I start going faster, it's just my hand is doing it and my brain's not thinking about it. And that's really important when you're playing live because you don't want to be thinking. You want to be enjoying music. You can't hear the cool lines the bassist is playing and the cool little licks the drummer's putting in if you're thinking too much. Do all your thinking right here. Let your hands do the rest. Let your body and brain do the rest. And then then you're gonna soar. When you go to play, you're gonna have fun rather than trying to play the right notes. So let's see, the first exercise, I, I'll teach you a few exercises as well. So I always just start on that little one, four, three, two thing I showed you. Hey, hey. quieter dynamics are a beautiful thing if I had a different guitar with a volume knob on the front I do some volume swells too because as a guitar player one thing I loved a lot of our piano players is how like piano players can hit harder but so can you but you can also do volume swells on guitar you can control your volume if you came on a note too loud don't just back off of it and leave the reverb and delay ringing out just take that volume knob and ease it down a bit 
If it's getting softer, ease down your tone a bit. Turn your tone knobs down and get a warmer sound. Not sure I made much of a difference on this guitar. Metronome's a great way to develop your groove. I'm not robotic right now. Okay, that's the stuff I like to do, so I gotta save that for last. Another thing you wanna focus on is practicing your weaknesses first. What am I weak on right now? I guess I'm still weak on playing chords and like not having them. I've been lazy with chords for years, so getting every note to ring out. I've made some great strides. One way I do that is I take my fingers and do this stretched out shape. It's an A minor on the 12th fret of the A string. Not A minor, A major seven. And I'm playing the pinky up here for that ninth. No, that's not a ninth, that's just A, a flat. That's a, that's B flat. That is a ninth, that's a flat ninth. Ow, oh, that hurts still. And since my hand's hurting, you need to take care of your body. That's another important thing to practice. Don't strain anything. I would love to be sit, standing up right now so my back is not feeling any strain. But make sure everything feels good. <clears throat> my practice sessions, I usually jump around a lot just to tune up everything because I put a lot of practice in the past. Like YouTube videos, I'll watch one thing and then hop off and go practice that thing for like two hours just until it's, it's embedded in my playing. So let's see another technique thing. On the G string, I'm on the fifth fret and I'm just taking these four fingers. Now I'm gonna go B string, D string, B string, D string with the index finger. Now I'm gonna do a middle finger. Reset. This is from the book Pumping Iron. And after I do all of these, it helps to do it with a metronome to make it even harder. When you're, when you're practicing something, put the metronome in after just to make sure you know it, like if you're practicing chord changes. Because when you're not, you don't have the metronome, you can put a lot of space in and your subconscious not re, may not realize how out of time you are. You might be trying to play some one and two and three and four, but you're going off feel, so you think you're jamming, but your internal metronome is off. Yeah, that right there. This is for finger independence, so your fingers can do move independently and also get some like good stretches in and stops like fret noise, stops you from putting your finger on top of other strings while you're trying to play chords and muting them accidentally. What else we got on here, baby? Uh, slow tempo body technique songs. Uh, I don't do too many gigs nowadays. Most of my gigs are either fill in or somebody, Every gig I've ever been on, I haven't like sought out people who just called me for. And that's because I, I love playing, but I don't put a big emphasis on playing gigs. I say when they come to me, they'll come to me. So like practicing songs, just having the song repertoire ready. It's probably the best way to improve because you hear something in the song. And if you can't play it, you now know something you need to work on and something to work towards. Plus, I spent like the first two years practicing a lot of technique, but not really have any songs under my belt. So people would be like, hey, can you play something? And I'd be like, nah, dude, mm -mm. So let's see, and I, like the songs I invested in early, like uh, people still want to hear and I think they'll get old, but. But people still request them. So I was like, oh, and as you practice the same song over and over again, you start, wanting to change things up, having your own style, and that's how you develop your own voice. I've been yapping for a lot. I don't know how much has helped you. If it has helped you, what's well, another thing? When I was starting out, if you haven't learned, if you haven't watched my video on fretboard fluency and learned all the notes, you should really do that. But like, I still go through and I'll be like, where's all the G's again? G, 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 G. Same thing with the C's. Octave trick, next C is going to be here, when the octave trick, E strings the same, C then octave trick again. 
let's see. Lately, I've been practicing a lot of uh, just like like I said, a lot of that technique stuff and making it so like my hand is relaxed. I don't want to strain for anything. If I'm gonna play guitar for the rest of my life, I don't want to put all this strain on my wrist right now and then not be able to play later in years later in my years when I'm really good. Cause you gotta assume you're gonna get really good, otherwise you're not gonna want to keep playing this thing. And honestly, I think that's most of what I do to practice. Like, that's pretty much all. I, I usually put on a backing track, or lately my practices have been, I my playing has been a little stale in my opinion, because I'm like, I've been playing the same stuff for so long. So I'll play a song and just like listen to really good guitar players and just steal one or two licks from a song. Like, I'll hear something and be like, I'll keep rewinding it and go note by note. Something like that. So let's see, I have, my last thing I wanna say is, if you don't have a looper pedal, that is a beautiful practice tool. I'd never really use my looper pedal live that much. It's always for like recording or practicing. And I'll show you why. I'll just record sound simple, just a six, five, four, three. So that A minor shape, that's just my thumb here. And then that A shape right there. See, if you don't play the bottom string, you're playing the C. So I like, this is, I can go from six, one, five. Sometimes I'll just jam on the one. Great way to practice feel and practice like filling up space, bass, snare, bass, snare, bass, snare, bass. Play the bass note. So I'm playing, it's taking the role of a kick drum in a bass guitar. Snare, snare. If you watch Marcin uh, play, uh, he like I just saw a video of his on uh, TikTok where he's breaking down the individual element. He's like playing the bass line while he's talking for a long time, and he his he's trained his subconscious so well he can have this full conversation with the audience and just keep it rock solid on that bass line. And if you don't like him, that's ego talking. I don't really care for his music, I don't listen to it, but the guy's a phenomenal guitar player, obviously. He does some cool stuff. It's just like not what I want, not what I particularly want to see. But don't let ego get in the way of like you making friends and uh, developing really, good, really uh, solid guitar foundations. And being, if, you're, if your ego is gone, you can watch him and then you see something really cool. I'm like, I'm going to steal that. And now you're a better guitar player. All my friends that I have in the scene, they're all from people being way better than me. And I was like, let me go make friends with that guy so I don't hate him. Two, three, four. All right, we already we already botched it. Dorgas, what are you doing? So you see why this is why metronome is helpful because that loop would have been pretty fine, I guess. But with the metronome, I see just that little micro. If I can fix that now, later I'm gonna be so rock solid. Let me listen to the metronome before I start playing this time. Two and three and count in your head too. I I'm so bad. I've been a musician since sixth grade. I'm 30 now. Just counting in my head, when I do it, I feel like a genius. Everybody's grooving, everything's going fine, but then I don't, and I don't know why. One, two, three, four. We're gonna call this a good enough for the sake of time. And then, we got a loop going on, so what can I play over six? That's just an arpeggio, which I outlined in my harmony video, I think, or fretboard fluids. You know, I'm gonna put that on top. Okay, we getting somewhere now. Feel the need 
need to go super complicated. I don't think enough people practice good taste. exercise to do but it's also a listening exercise practicing these triads Sun up. Just go around a loop and play it again, dude. It's just you. No one else is listening right now. The beauty is this is being recorded, so when I go back and watch it, I can see all the stuff I'm messing up, and I can hear myself talk and how many of my own thoughts I interrupt. But it's cool. Tomo Fujita says, be kind to yourself, and that's one of the things I have to remind myself constantly. You make so much improvement when you're not stressing. I already talked about mindset. Just be kind to yourself, and everything else will fall into place. Lao Tzu's book on Wu Wei, of just letting things be. When you're happy and having fun, like that's when my videos do well. That's when you guys really seem to enjoy the content. Not when I'm thinking, oh god, my content's so bad, how do I improve? And a lot of it isn't not knowing how, it's laziness because I don't want to do stuff. I'm like, this might not pay off, but if it's fun, I'm going to do it anyway. tip I say is practice in a different key every day. I'm in C right now. I'm always in C, dude. Like when we play a key in C, when we play a song in C, I'm a monster. But like, there's other beautiful things like, uh, let's just change it right now. I'm going to play that same thing in a like E and E flat and we're going to have completely different feel. All right. It's not going to be completely different, but you'll just see like, it's just, you the, if it resonates in your soul a different way, because yes, yeah, the same like pattern, but the vibrations, the way they affect your body is completely different because all music is vibrations. The waves are moving at a different speed. So of course you're going to feel a little different when you're playing it and listening to it. What up metronome, baby? I was at the beach shooting a video with my drummer Jeremiah recently and every loop I was playing the drum loops and everything there was just simple loops but they were out of time just because my internal metronome was off and I was stressing and I said we're, we're hitting that metronome and this is never happening again dude oh we're a different key might be I'm already feeling a little different mood wise from when we were playing in C E flat is very commonly used in R&B, blues, jazz. It's a beautiful key, dude. Probably my favorite. And we saved this last part so I can remember how fun practicing can be. Still kind of mashed up with the metronome. I didn't even realize I was still on. And now's the time to take chances, play stuff weird. Uh, maybe not that weird. 
Is that E flat? Oh, we're in E. I'm so dumb, dude. There's no rush. Yeah, the video's ending, but we're just gonna sit here for a second, dude. Listen how that... What is that? That's a G sharp. Listen how it just sits on every note. Now you're getting reference how it sounds in every chord. If you're gonna do something that long, make sure it pays off at the end though. See how weird you can go and come back to it? Thank you for sitting here for this mess of jumbled thoughts. If you liked the video, please like, comment, and subscribe so I can be encouraged to keep bringing you more content, more and more, stronger and stronger, building these guitar genius skills up. We're all gonna be monsters. We're just gonna have a retreat. Go in the woods and just play guitar with each other for hours. That actually sounds horrible, being with a bunch of guitar players, dude. All my friends are guitar players, I can't stand those guys. Because the moment someone busts out a lick that's tastier than my lick, bro, I'm stealing. It's 12.23 and I'm getting out of here. I love you beautiful people, I hope the universe gives you everything you deserve. Happy practicing.